Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. Baby, low-key, going along with the song that was played um, via my speaker uh, while I was getting ready, the last song, okay? Um, the message I heard is, I brought you a safe, saved man, okay? Um, and for those that are curious, the song was Differences by Genuine. My whole life has changed since you came in. I knew back then you were that special one. I'm so in love, so deep in love. You made my life complete. You are so sweet. No one can be glad you came into my life. <laughs> The scripture comes from Jubilees 37 and 19. And you hate me and my children forever, and there is no observing the tie of brotherhood with you. Hear these words which I declare you, declare to you. If the boar can change its skin and make its bristles as soft wool, or if it can cause horns to sprite on its head like the horns of a stag or a sheep, then I will observe the tie of brotherhood with you. And if the breasts separated themselves from their mother, for you have not been a brother to me. Mmm. And if the wolves make peace with the lambs so as not to devour them in violence, and if their hearts are toward them for good, then there will be peace in my heart toward you. So here's the message. So this message is for somebody. Okay. So there is someone that is seeking salvation. Okay. This is a bad Okay, so okay, it's it's multiple party parts of this message, but first I'm going to um speak on there's a man, okay, this video for man, okay. I do realize, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes the men be like, You act like you don't know that men watch you too. I understand. I know men watch me too. Sometimes I get messages specifically for y'all, there are times where, like, I would receive dreams where it was a man. There was no woman in sight. I've had, like, I, I understand, okay? I understand, I understand, I understand that there are men watching me as well. And guess what? If I understand, God understand, okay? Please do not take offense, okay? It's just sometimes the messages are for women. And sometimes it's a situation where you take it where, you know, it take it where it fits. If you feel like you're watching a message and it sounds like it's for a woman because of my my perspective, because physically, my physical body, I am a woman. I like it's not that I just um uh, what do they say now? I think I feel like I'm a woman, or I think or nothing. No, I am a woman. That is what that is what God ordained me to be. A woman. I'm a girl. I'm a woman. I like. Anyways, okay, you can see from the picture, see, I was born a girl, okay, high school girl. Nah, they, they ain't no, we had him so much, somebody. <laughs> Anyways, so I, I obviously, sometimes the messages are going to relate more to women from the way that I give it, okay, and my experiences. However, there are situations I do understand where a man can hear a message and say, but a woman did me that then it is for you, but you take what is meant for you and leave the rest. Anyways, so for whoever this is for, this is for a man. This part right here, this part is for a man. I do have something for a woman, but let me get to the part for the man. For the man, for the man, for the man, for the man. God said, whoever this man is, you need to change your ways, okay? And interesting enough, you know, the song and the song differences by genuine he is literally talking about he say he used to be a player he used to be going around and he would sleep from he was go hop from girl to girl to girl and you know what i'm saying he was doing his thing and then he met a woman that caused him to want to change okay 
And I just feel like for whoever this is for, you feel as though you're having a hard time meeting a woman that you actually want to be with. You are the cause of your own destruction. You are the cause of your pity party. You are the cause of your problems. You are the cause of your own headaches. You are the cause of your own stress. And you are doing this to yourself. If you will stop hopping around from woman to woman to woman, you may come to find that some of them women that you decided you wasn't going to call them back, you wasn't going to text them back, you wanted to ignore them, this, that, and the third, they, they could have been your wife. But because you insisted on hopping from this one to that one and back and forth, that's why you in the uh, position that you in. Sorry, y'all. I'm hot. Okay. But that's why you're going through what you're going through. This is like This is why you are in the position you are in. It's because you you created this for yourself. Like I said, you are the cause of your own problems. You are the cause of your own headache. You are the cause of your own stress. You're doing it to yourself. You're doing it to yourself. And God said, if you would change your ways, you will see a difference. You will see the change. It even says here, like, you feel as if you are being punished. You are causing your own punishment. Like, this is a situation where um, you are literally falling on your own sword, okay? If you, if you get it. You falling on your own sword. It's not a situation where God is going out of his way to seek vengeance or, you know what I'm saying, somebody wishing witchcraft on you or nothing like that. It, this is here's a situation where God just left you to your own devices. You punishing yourself. And, you know what I'm saying? And that's literally, like, that's literally what God is saying. God said, if the boar can change its own skin and make its bristles as soft as wool, or if it can cause horns to sprout out of its head like the horns of a stag or a sheep, then I will observe the tie of brotherhood with you. And I feel like with this scripture right here, God knows that for some men, this is a very hard deep. It, it's like it's like pulling teeth. Like, you know what I'm saying? It, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Try it. Like, this is something that you just feel it, it, like you can't do it. There are some men that have a hard time being faithful. There are some men that have a hard time seeing a woman, re recognizing that she is beautiful in her own way, recognizing that she has a beautiful body or whatever it is that she got going on and carrying on with their day. Some of them act like it is just so difficult. They, like, you know what I'm saying? They stress out if they don't try. They stress out if they don't get to her. They stress out if they don't spend time with her, whatever it is. God said you are the cause of your own problems you you doing it to yourself if you could just remain faithful to somebody just maybe you know what i'm saying just for a second guess what then you will be able to find yourself with this happiness this joy that, that you are desiring but because you insist on doing this you find yourself in this predicament god knows some men that's gonna they like they 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 not gonna do it that's where they draw the line you know what I'm saying? They can find a woman they like. They can be sweet. They can buy gifts. They can take her places. They can, you know what I'm saying, do all these things. But being faithful, oh, no, that's too much. And you know what I'm saying? God is like, you can't remove your horns. You can't remove your bristles. You can't do this, that, and the third. He like, you know what I'm saying? And for some of you, the next scripture, and if the wolves make peace with the lambs so as not to devour or do them violence, and if their hearts are toward them for good, then there will be peace in my heart towards you. So God is saying, if you would stop, like, like most men, some of them don't even realize that they are doing a violence towards women. Some of them actually take pleasure in hurting a woman and breaking a woman's heart and making a woman feel like, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 just, I, I, I don't understand the logic. You know what I'm saying? You cannot say to yourself, oh, I need somebody that's going to be faithful and loyal, that's going to do me right, and that's not going to do this, and that's not going to do that in the third. And then simultaneously, you refuse 
to act right. You refuse to be faithful. You refuse to be loyal yourself. You refuse to, you know what I'm saying? Like you, like you're the person that you end up with is going to be a reflection of you. So if you are the kind of person where you always scheming, you always looking for somebody else, you always looking for somebody better. You got to find somebody with some bit wider hips and then you got to find somebody with a bigger backside. You got to find somebody with, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty like that and pretty... And, God said you are going to be constantly finding yourself in a position, in a situation where you are in turmoil because you're you causing it. You know what I'm saying? If you would change, you would see change. It is impossible to do the same thing over and over again and expect that somehow uh, something different is going to fall out the sky. It's not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? I like I don't understand the logic. Even as to some men, they think to themselves, that like okay on one side they say to themselves well if i could just meet a woman that's strong enough that she not gonna fall for me she not gonna fall for what i got going on she she not gonna fall for my game then that's the one for me then simultaneously constantly bragging about how you are putting forth so much effort to get to your game to the point that you are sub tier you know what i'm saying and can't nobody get like pick a pick a side you know what i'm saying it's like you, what do you want I, I just feel like there's so many men that are just simply confused you don't know if you want to be a player for the rest of your life and be lonely carry on being lonely even if you do hop from woman to woman every night you carry on being lonely or if you want to actually put forth effort to build a relationship with somebody and have some stability in your life like that the 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 choice is yours you know what i'm saying it's a lot of men that like to argue that they don't want to get married because they don't want no woman to do this that and the third in reality studies have shown that marriage benefits men more than it does women period Marriage benefits men more than it does women, period. I'm going to say it again. Marriage benefits men more than it does women. And that's just period. And confirmation. Like, and that's just being like, when God created woman, like, like y'all, like as much as y'all love to say that we supposed to be your helper, you have to understand that. It's not a situation where, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, God created us to help because obviously you needed the help, okay? There's a reason that God did that. God watched Adam and how Adam was kind of, like, feeling some kind of way about how he saw all the animals that had their person and they had their little clique or they had their little group and he ain't had nobody. So God created him somebody. And there are so many men that think that they should be a lone wolf and they're going to be by themselves and they're going to do, do your thing. You know what I'm saying? If that's what you're going to do. And then you can't simultaneously feel like you want somebody and then blame everybody and anybody else for the reason as to why you don't have nobody. You are the cause of your own worry, your own trouble, your own destruction. You are causing your own heartache. You cause your own tears. You are stressing yourself out. And you know what I'm saying? All this, you know, thinking to yourself, I'm so tired of men, like, you know what I'm saying, these red pillars and, you know, passport bros and they conversation about they gonna do this and then they gonna do that and they gonna do this. Every time they hop, from one group of women to the next. And then they go from that one to this one. And now they from this one to that one. They are getting, like, it's the same thing. They are the problem. God said you are the cause of your own worry. You are the cause of your own destruction. You are the cause of your own tears. You are the cause of your own heartache. And you know what I'm saying? As much as they love to scream, y'all need to listen. Y'all need to listen. They refuse to take their own advice. There, I said it. Okay, a commun communication is not just screaming at somebody. It is listening and talking. And smart people, intelligent people, understand that it is better to listen before you speak than to just start screaming at somebody. Because when you just start screaming at somebody, that's when you the problems start. You know what I'm saying? It's just like women... The interesting thing about how women and men communicate, men seem to, for whatever reason, they still do not understand that once a woman is not as quiet and she not argue with you no more and she not going back and forth with you and she not, you know what I'm saying, trying to beg for your attention, she not scratching at the door, clawing at the door and banging and doing all that, that means she done. 
She's done. She's over it. She's finished. She she finished. And a lot of men think, yes, yeah, she finally gets it. She finally gets me. Everything is falling into place. And then next thing he knows, she gone. And he don't understand what happened, how it happened, when it happened. It happened months ago, sir. You like months ago, sir, when she was screaming at you about what she was doing. And you, it was in one ear and out the other. And now all of a sudden you looking around and you don't understand what's going on. You, you don't listen. You don't listen. You just talk. But you don't listen. And you know what I'm saying? I'm just being real. That's the message for the men. For the women, whoever this woman is, God said the man that he had for you is going to be saved already. It's not going to be a situation where you're going to have to figure out, you're going to have to hold this man's hand and tell him, no, you can't talk to her because you with me, remember? No, you can't go over there because we married, remember? No, you can't you can't sleep with them because remember, you don't like, you wouldn't like it if I did the same thing to you, remember? You should not have to do that. There's no reason for that. No grown man Man needs somebody to be watching over them all the time like they don't need no babysitter period god said there's no need for that there's no need for you to stress yourself and worry yourself about a man like i, I just feel like it's too many women that feel as though they they worry and they stress and they wondering oh is he okay oh what about this oh what about that he's grown let him take care of himself now he grown he grown, he grown, he grown, he grown, he grown. He should be able to handle himself. And if he can't, it's tough. I'm just being real. We don't see none of this going on in the animal kingdom where, you know what I'm saying, the, the female is stressed out about what the male got going on. She may worry while he going out to hunt, but he going to come back. She not going to leave her kids alone and without any protection to go chase, see what he doing. No, that's stupid. It don't make sense. And I just feel like for whoever this is for, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to call you stupid, first of all. But I am just trying to say, like, God said he is not sending you a man that have problems through the roof. The man that God have for you is not going to be a thought. The man that God have for you is not going to be trying to hop from person to person. The man that God have for you is not trying to play games. The man that God has for you is well aware that he is a man and is not trying to act like he is a teenage boy. The man that God has for you do not want to live like a teenage boy. He wants to live like a man. God said, like, you know what I'm saying? This is a situation where the men that the first part of the message is for, they not for you. If they ain't changing and they don't want to change, they not for you. If they are for you, they are going to be saved. Save, save, save. It shouldn't be a situation where you got to be stressed out wondering where he at and what he doing. You should be able to have full confidence that he didn't went to work and he coming home. You should have full confidence he went to the store and he coming home. You should be able to have full confidence he went to go hang out with his homeboys. He is not on the down low. Okay, he's not messing around with them. And you know what I'm saying? They didn't, didn't cut the light off and they got, what are the, the little, the flake, the, 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 the colorful light shooting off in the, in the air and they just going around playing like, uh, no, that's not what he got going on. You know what I'm saying? The man God have for you. The man that God have for you, he ain't got that going on. The man that God have for you, he is, he's really hanging out with his friends. They playing cards, they playing dominoes, shooting pool, watching the game, whatever. And he coming home. And that's the message. God, God said, no, this is nonsense. No, God is not going to send you somebody that needs to be saved. And the reason that I say this is because so many people feel like they need to save their spouse. And I do understand that there are some situations where you may need to save your spouse. There are some situations where you may need to. But you have to understand that it's not going to be like, it's not a case where you need to be getting yourself hurt, heartbroken. And you know what I'm saying? To the point that you didn't turn evil. You know what I'm saying? To the point that you angry now. You aggressive now. You're bitter now. And so many men complain about women being bitter and being uh, 
harsh and very straightforward at a certain age but in reality it comes from the way that they treat us you know what i'm saying if you dealing with if you end up dealing with somebody regardless if you in a relationship with them for a month or 10 years and they didn't stress you out they they don't know how to stay faithful they don't know how to be loyal. You got to call around and find out where they at. You got to keep on trying to figure out what, what he doing. Every time you catch him somewhere, he's supposed to be hanging out with his friends. He got some other little woman. He got some little woman with him. He filling her up and he doing all kind of stuff he not supposed to. That is stress. Don't nobody got time for that. Nobody got time for that. I know me personally, I'm always like, you know what I'm saying? What is it? I, don't, I know it's something. You know what I'm saying? And I said that yesterday. You know, I know me personally, I have a problem with trusting people. I have a problem with seeing people that, you know what I'm saying? At, like, accepting the fact that some people are just good. You know what I'm saying? And to that, I say, prove me wrong. You know what I'm saying? And I'm serious. I would prefer, like, I, I don't have time for, you know what I'm saying, any games and any, like, going back and forth. And I just feel like one other thing I'm going to add to this is when it comes to that, what I just said, prove me wrong, some people be like, ain't nobody got time for that. That's fine then. That means that, we not that we're not intended to be together. You know what I'm saying? If you got to feel as though you got to stress me out, I no. You're not for me. Like, I'm I'm being real. If you, you know what I'm saying? I'm not for playing no games. I'm not for going back and forth. I'm not for no, uh, blues clues. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Trying to figure out this and we playing games about that and we got to figure, don't nobody got time for that. Don't nobody got time for that. I'm not playing Door of the Explorer. I'm not going to find Where's Waldo. None of that. I ain't got time for that. And I just feel like for whoever this is for, God said he know you ain't got time for that. And because he know you ain't got time for that, he ain't finna send you nobody that's like that. And that's period. You know what I'm saying? If somebody showing you signs that they got that going on, let it go. It is what it is. Do whatever it is that you need to do to let it go and move on with your life. Because God said he would not be sending you somebody like that. The person that he has for you is going to be safe. Okay, first of all, this is not going to be somebody that's going to put you in danger. They would never put you in danger. They would never put you in a position to where you, you know what I'm saying? You got to worry about this. You got to worry about that. You got to stress about all. No, somebody that God going to send for you, they are going to be safe. They, your safety is going to be important to them. They are going to be saved, meaning they're not going to do things that sinners do. They are not going to be insisting on doing things that may cause you any kind of pain, you any kind of problems, you any kind of heartache. They're not going to do you that. Why are they not going to do that? Because they love God, okay? They want God to have peace. It says that there will be peace in my heart towards you. They want God to have peace towards them. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times... um. Like, I just feel like it's too many people that they always complaining about certain things happening in their life. And yeah, it's sometimes like stuff just happen. There are certain things where it is inevitable and things just happen. Sometimes that's what it is. Sometimes it's disobedience. And you know, however, sometimes it's disobedience. And then sometimes we have to be honest. And you know what I'm saying? Sometimes people cause their own problems. They cause they own, they are the cause of their headaches, they are the cause of their heartaches, they are the cause of their own stress, and you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody got time for that. Like, how are you going to lead somebody, and you, yourself, every time you think of a thought, you are leading yourself into a pit, and you basically want to pull that person along with you. That's nonsense. That's the message. Whew, that's the message. That's the message. God said it is not. A situation where the person that he has for you is going to be um, in a situation where you got to change them. Uh-uh. They should already be ready. Like, they got to be ready for It's not a situation where, you know what I'm saying, you just going to take them as they are and it is what it is. Nah, because they liable to fall right back to their old ways. And don't nobody got time for that. That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.